Hello and welcome to a new video about the magnetic field. Today we want to talk about energy in the magnetic field. We talk about how much energy is stored in the magnetic field. And I will do it exactly the same way again. I will find the analogy, analogy <laughs> to, to, uh, to the electric field. Okay? So what was the energy density in the electric field? Let's see. Energy density in electric field. This was W electrical equals one half the flux density multiplied by the field strength. And now guess what? What is the energy density in the magnetic field. Wm is one half flux density field strength. Ta -ta. It's the same. Do you believe me? Please think no. Yeah? I show you. Yeah? So the, the unit of B, yeah? Tesla, that's actually volt seconds by square meter. Okay? And the unit of H is ampere per meter. And now let's multiply those two. Volt seconds per square meter is Ampere are uh, multiplied by ampere per meter. It's volt multiplied by amps multiplied by s per cubic meter. Volt multiplied by ampere was watts. Yeah? So we have watt seconds per cubic meter. And this is actually joule per cubic meter. So it's the energy density. The units are fitting. So this is true. This is true. All right. So, this is the density at per cubic meter in a certain area where this field strength and this uh, flux density belong together. And with with B equals mu multiplied by H, we can get the following. So, I write it again. 1 half multiplied by B multiplied by H. And this equals 1 half, and now B, this is H squared multiplied by mu. Yeah? Or it's 1 half, and this time H, B divided B squared divided by mu. Yeah? So these are the three forms of, of the energy density in the magnetic field. And what if we have now the energy stored in a certain area of this field? Yeah? So energy in the magnetic field. Wm equals small wm multiplied by V. And this is not the voltage. This is not. This is not not the the force. Yeah? This here is in this case it's the volume. Okay, the volume of the area. This here is the volume. Yeah? So if uh, so if a certain uh, volume of of material and I have in there magnetized, then I have this area. And we were talking about the hysteresis curves, magnetic hysteresis curves. Here I have two different materials. Okay? I have the red material and I have the, the green material. So here this is the hysteresis curves with those arrows. Okay? Magnetized in one direction, demagnetized, magnetized in the other direction, and also this one, the red one and the green one. 
right? These are the two materials here. Now let's think about what is written here. B multiplied by H. Yeah, so this is B multiplied, this is a this is actually a, 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 a square in this an area in this drawing here. So B multiplied by H is an area of this drawing. And now let's compare those two materials. The red material yeah, has a big area. Big area. Hmm? The green material has a small area. So this means to, to magnetize the, 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 the red material, we have to spend a lot of energy because there's a lot of energy stored inside because this area is very big. And if you want to change the direction of the magnetic field, there's also a lot of energy to put into uh, that we can change the, the direction of the field. Uh, this is indicated by a big coercitive uh, field strength here. Uh, so we're also indicating that it's already hard. Uh, if I need quite some field strength to just compensate the internal build-up field, uh, then it's clear that it's hard to, 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 to turn the field around in there. Uh, and here we have not that much area. We are pretty we can we can do it comparably easy. So those things here, the reds here, they are called uh, magnetically hard materials. Okay. And the green ones, they are magnetically soft materials. And, well, I already said, those here, they are hard. They are hard to, to, to remagnetize. Yeah, they are hard. To remagnetize. So it's hard to turn the direction of the magnetic field there. Yeah. And they are easy. To remagnetize. And what about this information? Uh -huh. what, 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 what is the benefit of this information? Uh, okay, there are, there are these materials and these materials. Uh, good. Uh, when do I want to take what? Uh, if I have something uh, where I, I want this to stay magnetized, uh, for instance, permanent magnet. Like this, uh, permanent magnet. I want this to stay magnetized, no matter what. Yeah. So this must be of. Is it? Should it be hard to remagnetize, or should it be easy to remagnetize? This should be hard to remagnetize. Yeah. Because if we are using this, if we are using this to, I don't know, close our kitchen drawer or, or co co close our our, I don't know. Yeah. And if it's just sticking our knives to the wall, huh, then we don't not we don't want to that the knives are falling off. So we are using these magnetically hard materials. They are used for permanent. In example, permanent magnets. All right. When do I use magnetically soft materials? Yeah. In a lot of electric machines, we are depending on magnetic fields that are changing. So it's there, uh, it's 
the simply necessary that the field is always changing north, south, south, north, south, north, and and pretty fast, let's say, uh, pretty fast, 50 times a second, uh, for instance, uh, south, north, south, and then, of course, we are not using these hard magnetic materials. Of course, we want that this demagnetize and remagnetize in the other direction, this changing, this remagnetizing cycle, one, we want this to be without effort, okay? So it's a transformator, it's motors, it's generators, it's why this has to be, we will discover in a future videos, yeah? I will, I will provide, yeah? But actually, that's the case, yeah? And if I spend a lot of energy just to energize and de-energize my material uh, and re-energize in the other direction, then there is less power available to do the actual work of this machine. Uh. So here we are, we are using magnetically soft material. So in example here, this is the electric machines. In electric machines, we are using this. This is also actually why it's called in their soft iron core. I sometimes use this term soft iron core. It's because it's magnetically soft material and not it's a soft iron really. Okay. So it's not a soft iron. Uh, it's a magnetically soft material. It still hurts when you let it fall and hit your toe. All right, so this is the energy in the magnetic field. All right, energy density, energy. There are magnetically hard materials, the magnetically soft materials, hard for permanent magnet, soft for electrical machines. Yeah, and of the area of the hysteresis curve, we can see if it's hard or soft. All right, I already mentioned something, demagnetize. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want that things stay magnetized, like this thing here. Yeah. Sometimes I want that the things, I can get rid of magnetic fields, because sometimes they are disturbance. Yeah. Next time we are going to talk about how we can demagnetize things and also how we can shield ourselves from magnetic fields. Huh? So magnetic shielding. Demagnetizing magnetic shielding, next topic for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.